vlog 5 uh, Vloggy Baba Customer quote of the week has to be Do you sell dogs? If you haven't seen any previous uh, vlog you might not realise I work at a clothing shop We don't sell dogs We don't sell any animals for that matter We mainly sell clothing but I guess, you know, don't ask, don't get. Well, in this case, do ask and still don't get because, you know, we don't sell dogs. We sell clothes. Well, I did it. I managed to get rid of every manager that was working there when I started. All four of them. The, the main overall boss manager person and then the semi... You know, manager of this department, this department, and what have you. They're all gone. Got rid of all of them. Was it something I said? I don't know. Maybe it was my overwhelming manliness scared them away. I don't know. Or maybe they got better job offers, which may be the actual reason. They, uh, they've been replaced. Uh, one permanent manager has come in to take over from the other permanent manager but uh, there's also now some temporary managers that have come in to fill the void while they look for permanent replacements which from what I heard is a regular thing I think uh, the one that just left was the third manager in the last six years so guessing I'm not going to have to get too used to the uh, the next manager, hopefully, because I'll be leaving soon, but uh, probably in all likeliness because they will move on to bigger and better things and I will stay here and not. Mm. Overwhelming manliness. That is the... Oh, maybe not, who knows. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, that, that's the managerial situation at work at the moment. The the new manager, yeah, well, stays out in a way mainly. Doesn't really interact with anyone. You know, if if there's a you know a customer complaint, she'll handle it. She'll take the customer back and deal with them herself. Funny enough, the. Customers to go back though. I don't remember them coming back out. I'm sure they leave through the exit at, at the back. I, I don't think. Anyway, um, the managers aren't the only ones leaving. One of the girls, Daria. Well, her name's actually Pauline, but uh, we call her Daria because uh, the uniform is green, so she's always wearing green. And with the glasses and the hair, she's just the, the spitting image of uh, Daria Morgendorf, so uh, that's what we call her. And uh, yeah, she's a great sport, she goes along with it, always joking around, make, making little impressions. Uh, Jane's not so keen on it, because if you ever watched the show, you know uh, Daria's best friend is called Jane. So uh, we always make uh, jokes with Jane as well, but she's not so keen on that, but... Uh, they're harmless, really. Apart from when blood is involved. No. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she's leaving. Uh, which is a shame. I'm going I'm to miss uh, <laughs> Pauline. So I had to think for a second there. Because uh, I'm so used to calling her Daria. Even if I'm doing a Tannoy announcement, I'll still call her Daria. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be a shame that she's gone. We, we had a going away party for her there. Uh, we thought we'd might as well make it Daria themed which uh, seemed like a funny idea at the time but when you think about it all the characters in that show dress as normal people so we were in fancy dress as characters from Daria but if anyone walked in they wouldn't have any idea because we're just wearing normal sweaters and T-shirts and shirts, ties, you know. So it was, well, it, we we knew that was the main thing. We we knew what we were we were. Enjoying.
dressed up as. So yeah, uh, Daria was dressed as as, da as Daria because she's Daria. But she's Pauline. But we called her. You know, I'm gonna call her Pauline because I think it would be confusing otherwise. So yeah, she was dressed as uh, as Daria, and we we tried to get Jane to dress as Jane, but well, she didn't even turn up. So. Uh, good guy Greg turned up, which was interesting. Didn't expect him to to turn up. Uh, don't know how he knew about the, but yeah, he he was there. So uh, I actually, as Jane wasn't going to dress up as Jane, I I did, which I would show you a photograph of what I looked like. But unfortunately, my sister was in charge of the camera, and she left the lens on the entire time. So. There's no actual evidence that the event even happened, but uh, yeah, it was it was it was fun. Uh, Steve turned up. Uh, he must he clearly forgot that there was a fancy dress thing. It was because he was just in normal normal clothes. Didn't look like any of the characters at all. Uh, well, so I asked him, you know, where's your where's your costume and just like that. He, he pulled his t-shirt up over his head and went, I am the great Corhilio. So, so I thought, great, you know. <laughs> Which, you know, Beavis and Butthead, Dario was in Beavis and Butthead, so yeah, it kind of works. It, 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 I'll accept that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, nice one, Steve. And uh, yeah, we had, uh, oh, we had lots of fun. Uh, you know, there was... Uh, Drinking, dancing, fights. What else could you want? Oh, uh, so with the exception of food poisoning, I say the party was a great success. A few fingers were pointed at me, but those fish fingers were well cooked, so it wasn't to do with me. So it did mean, of course, that some people couldn't turn up for work the following day, but I could, so yay! Jane turned up as well because obviously she wasn't at the party as I previously pointed out. So you know, just us two, in um, and the new managers. And uh, of course, naturally, with the lack of staff, there was an abundance of customers. Uh, the staff to customer ratio is usually of uh, too little or too many never quite get that balance right but that's that's the, this job for you that's what we like to do so uh, yeah it was just me and Jane and a bunch of very annoyed customers the best thing about that day was we had our lunch breaks at the same time we were both scheduled to go for lunch at one o'clock Somehow, when doing up the rotor for that day, the manager put me down for one to two and put her down one to two as well. You'd think with only two people to sort out, you'd notice, huh, if they're both at lunch at the same time, there'll be nobody in the shop to look after the customers. That's, no, that's not good I should do something about that no they did not they put us both on at the same time and you know what we did go at the same time that's what the rotor said damn it that's what we're doing and so yeah there was an hour where those customers and no staff members at all and funny enough customers didn't like that no they they preferred being served than not being served for some reason and that queue could get pretty long when there's nobody there at the checkout to serve the customers although it gets smaller again when the customers at the front give up and leave no one just leave some of them do of course track down the manager and complain but then they're taken out the back and never seen again that's good man management isn't it wait no no it's not Well, I 
I could talk about this for, I don't know, another few minutes. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wrap things up. Just like any other video, I'm going to end it at some point. In this case, I'm going to end it now. Not literally now, as I'm still talking. The end of the video is when the video actually ends. This is more me talking about how the video is very shortly going to end. But currently, is still going. Why? God only knows. But uh, I will say this. If you like the video, then please like the video. If that makes sense. Share it. Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or anything else like that. Let other people know how great this video is. You might be lying, but tell them it's great anyway. And... Uh, any other way of getting lots of people to watch, that would be great. Uh, I'm on Twitter, so you can follow me on Twitter. It's not worth it, but you can do it anyway. And uh, now, I've ended the video.